Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you watching. Today we're going to take a short little ride on the new to the channel 05 Harley Davidson Road King Classic. We're just trying to see what it needs, make it a better fit for me as I take some long distance trips on it. So let's go for a ride. As for now, that is all. That was a good little ride. Well, after owning this thing for just a couple of weeks and taking a few rides on it, uh, I love this bike just the way it is, but there are gonna be some changes made to it. This bike was set up for a six foot four man, and I am, well, I'm not six four. So there are gonna have to be some changes on it, and I hate to do it because I love the way the bike looks just like it is. But we're gonna have to do this to make it a better fit for me as i try to ride this bike and do some long distance rides and so i've come up with four must have mods for this bike uh that we're looking at right here that are going to have to be done for me and i they're no particular order the first two definitely have to be done it's just not set up for me uh and my size so without making too many changes to it because i do not really want to change the look of it but the first two major things are we're going to have to adjust the height of this bike we're going to have to lower it just a little bit uh still trying to figure out what we might do to lower it uh there are ways to do it you can do a lowering bracket which moves the shock and that but uh also looking at some air ride type things for it uh so that has to be done. I'm on the balls of my feet and I don't feel that comfortable with it. But number two would be the bars. I love these bars. The Carlini design, they are really nice and they look good on this bike. But they are 16 inch and so they're a little bit high for me for traveling long distance in my opinion uh so we're gonna probably drop down to about a 14 inch i'm gonna try to stay very similar to this look uh they're very wide for me also like i said the previous owner was 6'4 and it was uh, a perfect fit for him he probably could have gone a little higher on the bars but really a comfortable fit for him but not so much for me so the bars will be the number two uh, and those have to be done so I can be comfortable on the bike itself The other two I want to get done, but I probably uh, Like I say if I ride it as much as I ride my other one uh, Number three is gonna be LED lighting all around this bike And these headlight the headlights and the turn signals all led uh as well as the uh rear turn signals and the tail light uh they're gonna be led also and i really want the get it set up where the turn signals are also uh running lights because i really want to be seen number four is probably going to be the seat 
Now I like the seat fine, but it's still, if you look at the seat, it's, it's wide and uh, I need the seat to be a little bit more narrow for my legs in order to help reach the ground again. But we will get this thing set up. And so those are the mods that I think are must have mods for me. There's one more and I haven't, uh, it, it's just kind of a want more than a need, but I will be putting right here as I have on my other bike, I'll be putting my uh, Serial 3D Cyber Charger has been a lifesaver on long trips, keeps my phone charged where I can see my GPS and so that is a, a a want more so than a need probably but uh it's already sitting in the garage waiting to be put on so those are the changes that are going to have to be made i'm trying to be very careful to leave it as close to what i uh what it is now because that's really i love the looks of this bike and so we're going to do our very best so those are my four must-have mods to get this bike ready for me and the long distance travel and the riding that I like to do. If you have any suggestions, please drop a comment, see what we can do. I'm still just trying to figure this thing out, especially on lowering the bike. I need to get a couple inches lower at least. I wanna be a little more flat-footed so I'll feel a little more comfortable. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and share this channel. The purpose of this channel is if we ever raise any money, we're going to donate to veterans charities, especially to help veterans uh, suicide, to help prevent veteran suicide. I appreciate you watching. See you on the next one. As for now, that is all.